Hello and welcome to Star Wars Obsessed. I recently acquired a lot of vintage Star Wars action figures, which makes me so happy. Because for some reason, I have this need to keep collecting vintage Star Wars action figures. Even though I have them, I want more. Maybe I can get a variant. It's possible. So looking through these figures, um, some of them are kind of not so great. Very loose limbs on this Luke Skywalker. This Obi-Wan Kenobi looks pretty good. The only issue is no cape and no lightsaber. And I got this. Tebow looks good. Got another Tebow looks good, but no accessories. And I got all these Chief Chirpas. One weapon. They look good. No problems with these. Two low grays. They look good too. Got Princess Leia in her general outfit. And look, I have Wicket. So cute. A biker scout is very yellowed. I may want to use peroxide on this. I have issues with my figures being yellowed like this. I know some people are like, hey, well, why don't you just pretend he's like in the desert? He's all dirty. I just can't. I this, it's not my thing. I just can't deal with that. It just looks wrong. And Best Ben Han Solo. Not too bad. Just paint on the one hand is scuffed up. Got the stripes. This R2-D2. Sticker is messed up. Doesn't click. Although the dome looks okay. And then there's Darth Vader. Not too bad. The paint on the front panel here is kind of worn off a bit. No cape no lightsaber. I was thinking I have an another vintage Darth Vader. Do I have a place to display this one? Because I have one on the Death Star. I have one on the Star Destroyer and I have one in the in the Cloud City playset. I have a choice. I could put him in my hot playset or another area. Hmm. But first I don't want to put Darth Vader just on display like this. I want to have him with a cape and a lightsaber. So what I'll do about the cape is I'll use a Toy Poloi template for the Darth Vader cape. I have this bit of vinyl that I could use that I think will look just fine. One side is a bit too glossy. The other side is matted a bit. But that's okay. Well, the first thing I need to do is put the tape on the back side. And they have two sided tape. So just put the two sided tape like this. And then like this. All right, now to cut off a piece of this vinyl and put it here. Now I have the vinyl down onto the tape. I need to cut inside the line, so here we go. All right, looks good so far. Now I need to punch holes. And the best way to punch holes in this is to use a hole puncher, of course. And it's a perfect fit. Just like that. And then the other side. Perfect. Looks good. The uh, cape is kind of wrinkly. So now I just need to take the template off. All right, here is the finished cape. One side kind of glossy. 
on the other side a bit matted and it's a bit wrinkled I can't figure out how to get the wrinkles out so if anybody has any ideas please let me know in the comment section below now I will put the cape on Darth Vader I'm gonna put the glossy part on the inside so it's a bit more obscured Mark in. All right, fold this down. Wow, this looks great. But wait, I still need a lightsaber. How can I get one? Well, thanks to Stan Solo Creations, I was able to get this Darth Vader lightsaber accessory. Goes in just like that. All right, now it looks so much better. So here is my original Darth Vader. And um, you can see it doesn't look too bad, the cape. But this one, the uh, reproduction is a little bit shinier, especially on the inside, you can see that. I just don't know how to find vinyl like this but this one's okay this was just from an inflatable all right now to put the this new darth vader on display of course darth vader needs to be displayed next to his tie fighter awesome thank you for watching don't forget to click like and subscribe see you on the next star wars obsessed